Yeah. Okay, then we got um, a, a feature that I loved, and it it was funny to see the reaction in the SEO groups everywhere because you, you certainly you immediately see the divide. Google Search Console added improved filtering, and they added regex. <laughs> and well, I like regex because I know how to use it. But if you don't know regex, then it's a pretty hard way of doing things. Yeah, and yeah, as you say, you could see the split on Twitter and elsewhere pretty quickly. So um, I, I think this is awesome. I know um, I've wanted this forever, as of a whole bunch of technical SEOs. So Google Search Console is getting better and better at helping you understand your site, your performance, your issues. But if you want to really explore and dig and compare and contrast, you really have to export all that raw data and run it through your own systems and third party tools, which is clunky and cumbersome. So this is really a nice power user tool that lets you say, actually, show me all of my pages which contain the word cake, for example, but not pages which also contain the word recipe and only if they begin with S. So you can start to construct these more complex queries and really filter and pivot your data more usefully. That's really useful when you want to do things like um, show me my non-brand keywords. Because it's not enough, for example, for us to say exclude the word Yoast because there's lots of typos and plurals and we probably don't want to exclude certain types. So you can start to define this logic and use it to really probe through and spot opportunities and issues. It's worth learning a little bit of regex to play with this to unlock some of the power. You don't need to be a wizard. There's lots of tutorials. But yeah, this is a cool, really cool function. Good toy to play with. Absolutely. I Yeah, I really, really like this. And uh, it, it'll make my filtering a whole lot more easy.